Today, let's look at using inversions to help retain the guard. People talk about inverting and how difficult it can be on the neck and on the shoulders and things like that. But you can make it a little bit less uh, difficult to do and with a little bit less pressure by starting with someone down on your knees and understanding that if you can get a purchase on your partner's body with your feet, it's gonna make everything a lot easier. It's not easy to invert without any connection. You can do it, and there are examples all over the place of things like the Imanari roll, where you generate momentum yourself, going up into position, rolling up onto your shoulders, and then knocking someone down right in your legs. But if you use someone else's pressure into you, then it can help, and the way that we're gonna do that is with the, the high leg. So let's take a situation where your partner is going to post, they're going to put a hand on the hip and hand on the knee, and they're going to do like a Toriando variation where they drive around the corner. He's looking to drop his knee here to take the inside position. When we see this happening, we're going to start with a frame on the arm. This is going to prevent him from getting the cross face, right? He usually wants to grip my head here. So this is going to stop that stiff arm, then we're going to hip out. We're going to take our outside leg and we're going to bring it here. Now, this does require a little bit of flexibility, but if you can bring your hips up like uh, into kind of like a, a triangle sort of position, you can do this. The idea is your knee comes to your chest and you bring your heel onto your partner's shoulder. If you're having trouble with this, try moving your body to the outside so your side onto your partner and then placing the leg here. Now with your heel in place across your partner's neck, you have something to push against. And when you can push down, it's easier for you to bring your hips up off of the floor. The hands can post because we need space to bring our head through. If we don't post, our head runs into our partner here. So we're gonna push off with our bottom, our heel pulling down and our bottom leg pushing away. So we've got a little bit of space. Then we're gonna take our hands to our partner's knees and we're gonna roll ourselves up onto our shoulders. So he's not putting any weight on me here so I don't have to worry too much about my neck and the weight is on the shoulder. Now from here, we just continue to rotate until we find ourselves back, open position with our partner ready to go. And he can do the same thing on the other side. He's gonna post a hip. He's gonna post the hand, we're gonna frame hip out, high leg over. We're gonna use this resistance to drive our heel down. We bring our hips up, turn from here. And so there's no weight on my neck here. All the weight is on my shoulders. My head is free to move from side to side. Now we can turn around the corner and square back up to our partner. So that's our first method. Um, you can do the same thing if your partner has space, so it's a lot of space between you and them where the, uh, they run around, say the uh, north-south position here. From here, the idea is the same. We're gonna frame either on the arm or if we can't get there on the legs, we're gonna bring our knees to our chest here and we're gonna look to bring our legs into the same configuration. You may not have the perpendicular position to throw your heel up, but instead you're just looking to put your feet in place wherever you can. The ribs, the chest, the shoulder, uh, sometimes even the neck. And then from here, you're gonna use that push to bring your hips up off of the floor. The number one problem that people face when they're trying to do inversions is not bringing their hips up off the mat. And so if your feet are not touching anything, it requires this ability to kind of roll. But if I keep my feet on your body, I can use your body to help elevate and to put my weight on my shoulders. So that's kind of the key to it. So whether we're outside here, or our partner is down close with us here. We have the ability to use our heel or our foot and our hands to make the space to bring our hips up off the mat and turn. Once you get comfortable with this sort of inverting where there's close contact, you can become a little bit more comfortable, I find, with inverting onto things like um, uh, De La Hiva and Garibolo and reverse De La Hiva on inside uh, inversions and stuff. So. Hopefully this was helpful for you. If you enjoyed it, if you did let us know. See you soon.